Hey, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of Pensado's Place. We've got some updates on NAM. you got to be there. You're going to hear it from the man himself. We had a great conversation with Zach Phillips, Director of Member Services. And boy, if you miss NAM this year, you're going to miss a great opportunity to move your career forward. Check it out. It's like putting the band back together, brother. How are you? It's so good to see you both. It is so good to see you both. This is a... Uh, been looking forward to this. Absolutely. To see now, you. The, and talk about brothers in the cloth. One of the things that can happen at NAM oftentimes is you'll spend all day at NAM and you'll go to all the things that are going on. We're going to talk about some of this stuff. And then at the end of the day, there's a jam session someplace. And guess who's up on this on the stage playing guitar, rocking out is Zach Phillips. See, the thing about NAM is musicians run NAM, people who care about it run NAM. And and Zach is one of the best, most pure hearted, most most caring about you as a musician and you as an advocate for audio and sound and education. Pretty so good. man, here's what here's what's kind of exciting. <laughs> We're finally back to January schedule. Yeah. After, after the COVID interruption. Yep. Um we're we're lifting the we're lifting the bars one more time god and and you guys mission is to have new stuff right T tell me what's new about nam this year yeah first off her um it was very gracious of you um thank you and and thanks to pensado's place for being such a fantastic partner with nam um We'll talk about both of you and what you're doing at the show in a minute, but there is quite a bit new at NAM. And you know, it's funny, NAM's pretty diverse in terms of the number of professional communities that that actually gather at the show. So just kind of focusing on the Pensados Place audience, you know, if we look specifically at like audio and music technology, I mean, you said it best. First, we're back in January. Um, the pandemic, the wake of the pandemic made it really impossible for us to gather at that time but the vast majority of our industry i think agrees that that's the time to gather and that's when they want to gather i think with that we're going to see a larger turnout of members at the show and uh participating brands which we love oh and not to mention more global attendance which we really love as well mm -hmm. um, so january is a big deal something else that's new you know we've always served influencers and content creators but we're doubling down on that this year um mm -hmm. it's a a really big part of the show. It's such a focus, in fact, that um, the opening NAMU breakfast session Thursday morning, which, Herb, you're a guest on that this year, actually. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Um, that's being reimagined as a session called um, called Industry Insights, uh, hosted by our president and CEO, John Malinzak. And the focus of that session, in fact, is going to be influencers. Um, so it's it's a it's a big part of the show. We have our first ever creator night, um, which is kind of an exclusive networking um, event for influencers and content creators on Friday. We have a dedicated education track for influencers as well. Um, pivoting to the education, speaking of education, AI, not surprisingly, big topic right now. It'll be a big topic that spans all of the different education tracks. Yeah. I was looking at the schedule right before this call. I think it's going to, um, the way in which it kind of manifests in the program will be the practical, like how do you use AI to improve your marketing as a business all the way to like the trending, you know, how it's going to impact artists in the recording industry all the way to the speculative, like where it's going in a decade. So that's going to be a big part of it. Um, we have four nights of award shows, which we're excited about one for, for, what it, probably all the major professional communities will be represented in those um big focus on event safety in our live event production program um oh big growth in live sound very important category yeah. we're yeah. really excited about that because it, it was a huge part of our show prior to the pandemic it came back you know in our first show since the pandemic but i was just looking at the show map we have some huge brands in live sound there and uh, not least of all we have Pensado Palooza, <laughs> Thursday at five and uh, Friday at five, which will be a highlight, along with a special mentoring session at two o'clock at the NAM Idea Center on Saturday. I think I got that right. You did. Um, yeah, did, I, did I read correctly that that you guys had something that, that is going to go throughout the year rather than just around NAM? Yeah, it's funny. Actually, I'm, I'm glad you bring that up, Dave. Okay. Um, we, we're looking at NAM 
the NAM show is the member service uh -huh. that our members take the most advantage of by far. But let's not forget, NAM's a nonprofit membership based association. And we're sort of viewing NAM as the springboard for what we're doing year round. In fact, that breakfast session, Industry Insights, I think is going to launch kind of some ongoing reporting every quarter from NAM on uh, different data and trends, education throughout the year, of course. Um, something else you guys asked about what's new. This is newish. A lot of people don't know about this. Totally relevant to Pensado's place and, and your audience. NAM is an individual membership category. So for years, we were just a company membership association. If you're an industry professional, you make a living in the industry, be it like as an engineer, producer, music technologist, you can join NAM as an individual member now. So if you go to register for the show, uh, if you qualify, it'll give you that option, says, yes, please. It's just part of your badge. You don't pay any additional fees. So please take advantage of that. We want you to be part of NAM. We want you to join our family. And I, and I think that part of what Zach is saying and in, in, in laying out for, for, our, for you, our audience, um, is NAM is just cool as shit. And, and, and you need to go. I should have said it that way. That's better. Well, you know, <laughs> I get licensed to swear once per, per episode. So, um, but what we have learned over time, um, is, that this organization conforms itself all the time to what's coming. Sometimes we don't see what's coming, but they stay open to do it. And then they try to find a way to embrace it so that you can benefit from it. So yeah. you, it, it's important for you to attend to, and to get in depth to even know what's accessible to you. It is much broader than you think it is. I have learned a ton of things since I've been involved with NAM. And I would tell you that because we're partners and because we get along so well, that this is as fine a year of expanding and evolving and adjusting under a new chairman who is absolutely on point and smart about it and cares about it. So just go. Um, we, you, you, the idea of AI and technology means that we're going to flatten out where we're going and the people who are going to win are the people who are the most prepared. And so you got to go to places where you can get prepared and where you can network and where you can learn from people and meet people. And that's now. I'm not saying there's aren't other places, but if you want to get a good four day slice of moving your career ahead, finding out what product is there, getting in the tech space having some fun people forget we need to have fun with what we're doing and i mean if you just think about the influencer stuff he talked about that's going to impact your ability to move your career along to pick up tips to so if guys like dave and i go we go because we learn and we get inspired it's really cool that we get to see people and it's really cool to get to do pensado's place i come out of there and drive home going i'm better like I learned stuff, I met something, I and and it applies to our show. So um sorry for the pitch, but it's just a very cool place to go and be. And what we say, and we're still working through this, sign up early, sign up now, yeah. get in, don't wait till the last minute. Um, that way you get the app, you find out just exactly how you want to navigate NAM, and you can make it like a customized suit um leave yourself open to some things you might not know get to the things that you need to know and just to finalize the pitch pensado's place two two pensado paloozas which are thursday and friday um thursday we can't tell you yet who the producer may be but what we're going to do is have an ability to um have a bunch of people come and see some superstar producers bring sessions of their big hits and you're going to learn their tricks and they're going to be able to show you and tell you and Dave is going to run them through their paces and we just can't announce it yet, but we're really close and it's hot as hell. We'll hold that. Uh, Friday, we are going to do a deep dive into spatial audio. We're going to show you how to mix for your headphones. We're going to show you from how spatial audio plays into a &R and your creative choices. And then we're going to have a couple of incredible creative people 
who do mixes and spatial audio. So you can find out how to be up to speed in a game that's important. And when you think about the kinds of things, there's Dolby Atmos in cars now. There's all kinds of things. So in order for you to compete gaming, all the kind of other areas that you can take your musical chops and move forward. So come to the spatial audio panel, you'll be able to talk to the professionals. And then the learning thing on Saturday, while I'm still working it out, we're going to try to make it really good for business people and really cool for you too. We may, once we get it done, do a deep dive on the business of DJing, where it is now, how you can strip it back and turn it into something that you can train people. So we're just locking up who that is with our partner, Serato. Um, it's going to be cool. Um, now, you know, Pensado's place, we like to have some incentives and stuff. We'll let you know about that coming up. You might be able to get a prize here, a prize there. We'll figure that out, but it's going to be great. <laughs> and then the other thing is Dave and I are going to be at sessions. Those are the ones we're hosting. We're going to be running around the campus. We're going to be at stuff. We're going to be at things. We want to see you there. So sorry for the Shakespearean soliloquy, but <laughs> I, I think, I think Zach, what's your, What's your take on John and how Nam is evolving underneath him? Yeah, it's a great question, Herb. I mean, John's from the industry. He's from the industry, and he also understands where the industry is going, which is pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. um, something I'd, I'd add to, by the way, that was, you just said it. That was like, that was, that was it. You just captured yeah. the show. And you did say something about getting, getting prepared. It's funny. Um, one of the things we do in my in, in the team that I work with, uh, member services, we oversee education. And so often people say, so are you offering training at the show? It's like, yeah, but that's not really it. It's actually about getting prepared. And that yeah. was such a, just have to say, that's a perfect way to put it. There are like more than 200 free sessions at the show that are part of the part of your badge. So really take advantage of that. Um, okay. Again, now I'll, I'll end my pitch, but, um, you know, speaking of, of, of John, um, and I think this relates to Pensado's place. When we talk about your audiences of, I think you said audio, like gaming, music, technology, it's such a big part of NAM's membership. Yeah. It's such a big part of our family and something he's focusing on our board and NAM um, is continuing to build up NAM, among other things, as a music technology event. Mm -hmm. um, I just think about how many innovative tech brands are going to be on that show floor, music tech brands. Um, we'll be bringing back the tech awards. We're going to have uh, A3E, who's a really interesting uh, organization that does forward thinking education for developers, music technologists, producers, um, R&D professionals, gamers. Tech Tracks is coming back, of course, for audio, anybody in audio and live sound, more than 60 sessions. So um, that's a big part of our DNA right now. I'm kind of still focusing on the show, but that's going to continue year round again education on on nam's website and so forth webinars um the really the list goes on but i uh i'm, I'm glad you brought that up because it's such a big part of of our family and how people can use this this business gathering that is the nam show hey dave let me ask you a question um i've always felt and i think i've told you this but when i first started going to nam and then we started to become a fixture I always saw it as Dave's Super Bowl. That's where Dave could go see his friends, see people who it was like a gathering spot that was not only good for your education, but good for your soul. Like you reconnected with people. What we used to hang out in studios, which you don't really do anymore. You could do it now. Mm -hmm. um, so, Dave, your perspective on Nam as you've gone for a long time and as you've seen it evolve particularly with the the particularly with how we are at nam what, what's your take what would you advise people well i i remember the day we we went to do something with nam and um uh i i i had i had i had in atlanta i had gone to nam in nashville a couple of times remember when they did it in nashville and um so i had a little bit of a, a little bit of a head start but um, um, I think that NAM is is valuable in in so many ways because um, there's 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 
After the pandemic, things got kind of a little, a little weird, and now we're, now we're coming out of that pretty great. And this year is going to be the best. Now it's going to be normal. And so, yeah, I, 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 one, of my, my, one of my favorite parts about NAM is seeing my friends from New York and my friends from across the water. Love that. I love that. Love that. Love that. Love that. And then I, I really have respect for the people that, 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 that make the tools that I earn a living with, you know. So Cliff Mogg and, and all these other cats that are just so wonderful. And so I try, I try to see every one of them because I like, I like to work with equipments that, that I know who made it. And it just feels better, you know what I'm saying? And um, so, so um, I, for me, I, 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 tease, I tease people. NAM is my, uh, is my vacation. That's, that's the only time of year I like to not work. <laughs> And um, and and then and then since I've met Herb, um, I, I I I really I really really look forward to 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 what Herb comes up with because Herb's a beast. He 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 comes up with things that 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 I could never dream of, and so I like I like being a part of that. And um, I, I hope he does his dancing lessons this year. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the thing that surprises me guys is that you can even get across the show floor without you know you're probably having to like swat off people asking for autographs all day oh, i mean I, truly I, 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 I can't move uh which i like you know <laughs> I, i'm not mad at it but That's right true. when i get there i i i I'm dragging it behind me like about literally about 20, 30, 40 people, depending on the day. Saturday is the one I, that really is, gets you, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, just, um, I just stay in the room once we do our live <laughs> events. I, I literally, last name, I did our live events and stayed in the room because one, there's so many people who want to come up and see, it's just easier to control it that way. And then you don't want to, and, and this is the part that I think is good for our audience. Part of what happens at NAM is you look to your left and it's Stevie Wonder, and you look to your right, it's a rock band. You look to your left, it's Pensado's Place. You look to your, and and they're accessible. Kind yeah. of. You need to be polite about it. And so for Dave and I, it's hard not to stop and take every picture or shake every hand or pose or the case, because people are really genuinely saying, I'm in my community of music makers. You've been in my phone. Can I say hello? And how do you not stop and say hello? So what's what's really interesting about Nam is as much as we need to give, we're also getting. You know, like and getting is also learning and meeting new people. And you know, I, I mean, I I can't say enough about something I used to not go to at all, to how now I will be pissed if I ever missed it. Like it just, it's just a part of the DNA. And, and what I'm used to now is about a month before Halloween, I am planning now and we're planning events and we're planning travel and we're planning and looking forward to it. Like it's so uh, to the audience, the enthusiasm you see from two guys who are pros and Zach, who is incredible, that's genuine. Like, this isn't a sales job to you guys. This is a place where we know if you plug in and if you go and if you sign up, you're going to leave better. Your career is going to be improved. Your options are going to increase. Your education is going to be expanded. It happens to us every single year. These people are committed to doing it. And this year feels like it's back to pre-pandemic. Um, I mean, think about what Zach said. There's 60 free sessions of X, and there's 200 of this for Y. And you can, if you're a part of this organization, you can be a member and just check that particular box and how broad it is. Look, get to NAM, look up the details. We're going to get you some information. Get to the Pensados Place stuff. We're going to bring some stars. We're going to bring some other stuff, places you can learn, fun you can have. Um, 
Zach Phillips is one example of this incredible staff, John and Pete Johnson, just, just incredible people. And um, they have Dave and I's full sanction, full vouch, full. It, it, it's hard to get better people in these folks. Don't you think, Dave? I, I do, Herbert. I, I, I just remembered <clears throat> another reason to, to go to NAM. Excuse me. <clears throat> Another reason to go to NAM is because that you can put, you can you can actually go up and touch your heroes. <laughs> yes, yeah, true. Know? Now true. don't go don't go bugging them and all that stuff and following them around, but just say hello, thanks for your work and all of this sort of thing. But but I, I made a lot of friends that the like oh, like like, like Jay Z. I met Jay Z at NAM. I met I met a lot of big people. Taylor Swift. I didn't meet her at NAM. In case you wondered. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but all kidding aside, it's it's your 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 heroes are there, and and the environment makes it feel like they want to talk to you, and so uh, take take advantage of that because that that's the only way you're going to get to some of these guys, unless you want to go to Nashville. If I can inject this, the thing that really makes my day, by the way, is the fact that. Both of you are heroes. I mean, you're the kind of people that everybody wants to meet at NAM. And Dave, you talk about using that as an opportunity to meet the people who make the gear that you use. Herb is a learning opportunity. So it's cool to hear that you're also using the show too, in addition to signing autographs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. I appreciate that. Very cool. Yeah, absolutely. And and um look, Zach Phillips is the director of of what is it of of member, member services <laughs> and that is an umbrella for a lot of things um you'll see multitasking amongst all the nam senior staff all the nam staff and there is a spirit of how to make our community better there's a spirit of this is a burgeoning industry that we have to caretake and make it go there are hmm. efforts that go round the clock year round you have no idea about their support of hbcus and education all kinds of when people are in trouble and people are sitting there's this is an this is this is an organization that takes care of us and the only way we can take care of it is to attend participate support it because when you might need an option in your career you can go inside the nam family and find it so um you know we love you, Zach. Straight up, feeling couldn't be more mutual. Honored to work with you guys on this and and call you friends. Absolutely, thank you. Thank so you. we're gonna have fun. You're gonna hear some more Nam stuff through November and December, all the way up to January. We got some announcements coming. Stay tuned. It's gonna be hot. He's Dave Pensado. The other guys, Zach Phillips, and I'm Herb Trollick, and we will see you next week. Peace. <laughs>